Very good. And welcome ladies and gentlemen in another video about the dual toxicus But this time it's very special build for the Thraxis on the Void Cascade In case you missed my previous builds about dual toxicus Everything is available in the channel and Now, why Void Cascade and what's the Thraxis? Now, Void Cascade is the best game mode in the game right now You can farm Steel Essence from the Oculites You can farm the Arcanes and sell them or turn them into Phosphor You can unlock Relics and get Prime Parts and make some a platinum. Thraxis is the enemies that comes from the equalizer. They have a high level of uh, overguard and very important to kill as fast as possible. So having a weapon to kill them really quick is the most important part right here. So I will let you with the run and I come back to you with the build. So let's go. an evolution when the line between man and machine begins to blur. And welcome back, Tano. First thing first, everything you're going to see right now, you can apply on any Warframe, no problem. So don't worry, you don't have to use Revenant. The difference will be how you're going to stay alive. So I'm running Revenant, so I'll stay alive with you, Mesmer skin. You're running Ash, you're going to be staying alive with Bomb Smoke, staying invisible. Simple as that. Now, two Emerald Darkon shards, so we push the corrosive stacks from 10 to 14, so we totally armor strip the enemies. Okay. Why? So we use our weapon to armor strip, so we don't rely on any helmet ability or fox school like Unairo to armor strip. The build, you're going to apply the same aura, pistol arm, an arcane velocity and arcane precision on any warframe you're going to be using, if you're not going to be using this one. Vigorous swap, so when you swap between the weapons, 165% damage for 3 seconds. The same mechanic we use for demolition on the disruption. Now, nourish is really important here if you want. I will tell you how to do if you don't want to use Nourish. Nourish will proc Viral. It's very good against the Overguard. And Corrosive from our weapon to Armor Strip. So we have Corrosive from our weapon to Armor Strip. 
and so we don't mod for viral i have nourish on so corrosive and nourish for viral goes together now if you're not going to be using nourish you can use for example the tempest barrage proking viral as well and corrosive same time okay now if you don't want to use neither you have to mod your weapon with viral and then you use something like ability here from helmnith to armor strip enemies or unairo from the uh, helm from the uh, fox uh, school and now for the sedo is just right there for backup i didn't use it all the run you don't need to now the dual toxic is let's say go this build is special for cascade remember to kill the thraxis nothing else guns gunslinger a galvanized shot lethal turret a galvanized diffusion a creeping bullseye primate convulsion a primate targets cracker a pistol pestilence reflex a draw and secondary deadhead this weapon have a very unique trait. Headshot grants 150% fire rate, 100% ammo efficiency, and 100% toxin damage for 3 seconds. Now, you can get rid of the pistol pestilence if you have a ribbon and rely on the toxin from the weapon, but I don't recommend that. And I could have used one of my ribbons, CCCD damage by a projectile, all dual toxic is critical chance multi-shot, but for the sake of this video, I didn't want to use any uh, ribbon and so on as you can see the weapon is corrosive so evolution one headshots to feel the incarnate meter and then activate it with the heavy attack button and then evolution two uh, fever the frenzy evolution three uh, 50 percent recoil and evolution four increase critical chance by 20 percent this is the uh, glaive build i used melee influence uh, for electricity with viral from nourish will transfer all the stats i proc on that target to all enemies around with the biggest slash uh, tick procs in the game from glaive there you go madurai for one reason so i can kill those thraxes very very uh, fast with my baby void strike void strike will deplete all your energy and boom gives you 1000 percent damage otherwise you're going to be using the second ability emits a void wave lasting two seconds that uh, drenches enemies with void contamination making them 50% more vulnerable to operator damage for 20 seconds. Also, you can use it to take down the void uh, gates uh, that protecting the equalizer. I will show you the operator in a second. And here we go. Companion, you're going to be running. Uh, depends on the, what, you, what you're going for. For example, if I'm going for void fisher, I will using uh, Smitakavite. Smitakavite, here is the build for charm. If I want to negate any um, negative status, I will go with this build negate from worm and also will increase my critical damage with tenacious bond and fire rate will reinforce the bond like you saw in this video all right let me show you the uh, fight how it's uh, going with this traxis uh, very simple you activate nourish and then uh, dual toxicist uh, headshots activate the current form taken down go operator first ability and boom in the second case you're going to be using second ability from the operator and then you're gonna take him down uh, like so and now for the operator so i don't forget that uh, magus elevate on transference you get back your health uh, magus lockdown to lock down uh, enemies uh, eternal eradicate on operator ability 60 percent damage to amps for eight seconds that's why when you use a second ability you will have eternal eradicate active and eternal onslaught when your energy is totally deplete you get 180% critical chance for 8 seconds. Void Strike will deplete all your energy. Eternal Unslaught uh, pops up uh, immediately. And by this, we come to an end to our video. I really hope you enjoyed your time here. And don't forget, if you want to support the channel from your kind heart, thank you so much in advance. Don't forget to like and sub. And let me know in the comments below what you think if you're going to build this one. Remember, this build is for Cascade against Thraxis especially. If you want another build, you can check it out in my channel. Big love to you and see you next time.